O Lord, do not stay afar off. My strength, make haste to help me. For I am a worm and no man, scorned by everyone, despised by the people. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. The Lord is my strength. I place my hope in him. Stepping into the Eucharistic table with a humble and contrite heart, let us prepare ourselves by acknowledging our sins. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my, fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, you who have made all those reborn in Christ, a chosen race and a royal priesthood, grant us, we pray, the grace to will and to do what you command, that the people called to eternal life may be one in the faith of their hearts and to do homage of their deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Ezekiel. The Lord says this, I'm going to take the sons of Israel from the nations where they have gone. I shall gather them together from everywhere and bring them home to their own soil. I shall make them into one nation in my own land and on the mountains of Israel and one king is to be king of them all. They will no longer form two nations, nor be two separate kingdoms. They will no longer defile themselves with their idols and their filthy practices and all their sins. I shall rescue them from all the betrayals they have been guilty of. I shall cleanse them, they shall be my people, and I will be their God. My servant David will reign over them, one shepherd for all. They will follow my observances, respect my laws, and practice them. They will live in the land that I gave my servant Jacob, the land in which your ancestors lived. They will live in it, they, their children, their children's children forever. David, my servant, is to be their prince forever. I shall make a covenant of peace with them, an eternal covenant with them. I shall resettle them and increase them. 
I shall settle my sanctuary among them forever. I shall make my home above them. I will be their God. They shall be my people. And the nations will learn that I am the Lord, the sanctifier of Israel, when my sanctuary is with them forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. The, the Lord, Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. O nations, hear the word of the Lord. Proclaim it to the far off coast. Say, he who scattered Israel will gather him and guard him as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. For the Lord has ransomed Jacob, has saved him from an overpowering hand. They will come and shout for joy on Mount Zion. They will stream to the blessings of the Lord. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Then the young girls will rejoice and will dance. The men, young and old, will be glad. I will turn their mourning into joy. I will console them, give gladness for grief. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. of all your sins it is the Lord who speaks and make yourself a new heart and a new spirit glory and praise to you Lord Jesus Christ the Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. Many of the Jews had come to visit Mary and had seen what Jesus did, believed in him. But some of them went to tell the Pharisees what he had done. Then the chief priests and the Pharisees called a meeting. Here is this man working all these signs, they said. And what action are we taking? If we let him go on in this way, everyone will believe in him, and the Romans will come and destroy the holy place in our nation. One of them, Caiaphas, the high priest that year said, You don't seem to have grasped the situation at all. You fail to see that it's better for one man to die for the people than for the whole nation to be destroyed. He did not speak in his own person. It was as high priest that he met this prophecy that Jesus was to die for the nation, and not for the nation only, but to gather in unity the scattered children of God. From that day, they were determined to kill him. So Jesus no longer went about openly among the Jews, but left the district for a town called Ephraim in the country bordering on the desert and stayed there with his disciples. The Jewish Passover drew near, and many of the country people who had gone up to Jerusalem to purify themselves looked out for Jesus, saying to one another as they stood in the temple, what do you think? Will he come to the festival or not? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. 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 
we draw close to the whole preparation to step into Holy Week. This evening, we will find ourselves walking into Jerusalem. Today's gospel ends with a cliffhanger. It's, it's a statement. What do you think? Will he come? Will he step into Jerusalem? Will he fulfill what is asked of him? Will he accomplish the task? It's a question we ask deep within ourselves. Are we ready to step into Holy Week? Are we ready to walk into Jerusalem? It's a question that we find ourselves this past five weeks of Lent. It's a question we ask ourselves, am I awakened? Am I enlightened? Am I aware of God's love for me and the invitation to make that change in my life? Today's reading, my dear sisters and brothers, actually encapsulates, it, it summarizes everything that you and I have been walking these five weeks. The book of Ezekiel, the prophet Ezekiel tells us in four statements, in four beautiful lines, everything that you need to know in this journey of Jesus and our land. The first thing he tells us, if you've been following and listening to the reading, is that I will gather all that is scattered. That is all. If you remember the story of the woman who was caught in adultery and she was before Jesus and Jesus looked into her and gave her that mercy and changed that moment. That beautiful text actually summarizes that whole season of Lent. When you come before the feet of Jesus in your own brokenness, in the moment when you are lost, when the moments of your life is so shattered, and in darkness, I will gather all that is scattered. I will gather all that is scattered. The second thing that Ezekiel promises today is, all that is defiled, I will cleanse. The defilement is cleansed. The purification took place when that woman was before Jesus. All that is defiled will be cleansed. She found the mercy of God in the midst of her misery. In the moments of her pain, of her shame, of her guilt, she saw hope, she saw light, and she saw salvation. The third thing that Ezekiel promises today is, I will be your God and you shall be my people. I will be your God and you shall be my people. The assurance that God is with us forever. The assurance that God will never abandon us. The assurance that God is with us. I will be your God and you shall be my people. And finally, Ezekiel promises this. I shall make a covenant, an eternal covenant with you. Four promises that were given to us by Ezekiel today. I will make a covenant, an eternal covenant with you. My dear sisters and brothers, this evening we step into Holy Week, the solemn entrance into the heart of Jerusalem. What do you think? Will you be able to walk into it? That is the question the Lord asks us today. The four assurance of Ezekiel's. I leave you with the questions today. How has my dying to self enabled me to follow closely in the footsteps of Jesus? How has the emptying of myself, the dying to myself, enabled me to walk closely towards Jesus? As I enter into Holy Week, how can I be spiritually prepared to follow Jesus to the cross? As I enter into Holy Week, how can I be spiritually prepared to follow Jesus to the cross? The words of Jesus today is very simple and very, very profound. When I am lifted up to the cross, I shall draw all people to myself. When I am lifted up, I will draw all people to myself. Let us step into the Holy Week this evening with fear, with boldness, with simplicity, with humility, but most importantly, with the passion and the love for the cross.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth is given in human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness we have this wine to offer. Through the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the gifts we offer from our fasting, our almsgiving and prayer be acceptable to you, Lord, we pray. And as an expiation for our sins, May they make us worthy of your grace and lead us to what you promise for eternity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And And with with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty, since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment of the world is now revealed and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Father, with all the angels and saints, we to give you thanks as in exaltation, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. And giving you thanks, Father, he broke the bread. He gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity 
together with Francis our Pope and Sebastian our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, St. Joseph, our husband, the Blessed Apostles with St. Faustina and John Paul II, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, to praise and to glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. With faith and confidence, we turn to God the Father, the words Jesus gave us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the fate of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer that peace to one another. Peace be with you all. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and the blood of God. Christ was handed over together into one, all the scattered children of God.
Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us partakers and sharers of the divine nature. He who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Prayer for the sinner. We stand, we stand before, before you, you, Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as we gather together in your name. With you alone to guide us, make yourself at home in our hearts. Teach us the way we must go and how we are to pursue it. We are weak and sinful. Do not let us promote disorder. Do not let ignorance lead us down the wrong path, nor partiality influence our actions. Let us find in you our unity, so that we may journey together to eternal life, and not stray from the way of truth and what is right. All these we ask of you, who are at work in every place and time, in the communion of the Father and the Son, forever and ever. Amen. Have a blessed weekend and jangan lupa gotong royong jam 8 pagi. Yeah. God bless. Same to you, Father.